I'm getting a lot of requests for legendary Pop-Tarts. I did these like six months ago. I'm gonna give them another whirl, but I can tell you, based on all the stuff that's in the ingredients, they're just not high on my like overall healthy list. As far as the macros go, they're 180 calories per one pastry. Nine grams of fat, 360 milligrams of sodium. It's a lot of sodium, 22 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, no added sugars. 10 grams of erythritol, I like that. Okay, eight grams of fiber. Protein blend, erythritol, natural sweetener. Oil blend contains one or more of the following high High oleic sunflower oil, high oleic safflower oil, palm oil, polydextrose. So this is another sugar that we're adding into this. Glycerin, I'm not huge on glycerin. It comes from vegetable oils. Palm kernel oil, some more seed oils. Ooh, red number 40, yellow number six. Oh my God, all these synthetic dyes. I'm gonna taste these for you guys. Anything that has these synthetic dyes in it, I typically won't touch. As far as the actual ingredients of these things being healthy for your body, it's a huge pass for me. Remember, it's about balance and what you personally except in your life. I'm gonna take them and try them for you. Everyone has said they're better in a toaster. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Oh, I burned them and now they ruined my toaster. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they totally ruined my freaking toaster. Damn it. This is pissing me off now. Ruined. Does it say not to put in? Oh, microwave for 10 seconds. That's what I was supposed to do. I guess it helps to read instructions. Birthday cake and protein pastry. So I think this was the birthday cake. Is it good? Or like a chemically taste. Oh God, yeah, this one's gross. Yeah. Twice I've tried these, twice they suck. I don't know, maybe I put it in the microwave for 10 seconds next time, it'll be better. With all the synthetic dyes and all the crap on these, just a hard pass. Mm. This is what I think of legendaries.